trail again and again. Hacking and hunting and fishing the land. Time is time we'll spend. We'll take it to the Delta. Nice fish. That's a good fish. A little bit fish. better fish there. <laughs> so we come after that day. Mississippi outdoors. Water gets warm. You know it. Anna, that's going to be on Mississippi outdoors. <laughs> Your first fish at Pickwick's a smallmouth. Just call this the Pickwick Double. Whoa. Hey folks, today we're at the beautiful Pickwick Lake. We're not crappie fishing, we're not bass fishing. We're actually going into the water. We're gonna be grabbing big old gnarly catfish. Got a good friend, Bubba Carpenter, gonna be leading us today. Bubba, who, who have we got with us today? Some of the people. We have uh, done this for three years. I plan a little legislative trip every year to Pickwick Lake just to let the guys enjoy the, uh, the scenery and have a little bit of away from work. This is home to most of us up here. Uh, the, the representatives thus far the past three years has really enjoyed it. We do a little two-day excursion and, and get to enjoy Pickwick Lake and let them see this part of the state. Through the appropriation process this year, we came, we came up with the idea and want you to continue to be able to do this show, and we want you to have these pink <laughs> gloves with hearts on them yeah. to protect your little hands. How about that? Now, folks, this is our representatives in Mississippi legislatures. This, this, is, this, this is what we're putting up with. <laughs> Guys, these were not paid with taxpayer dollars. These are bought by the uh, donations from representatives. That's exactly right. <laughs> and I will wear them. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be funny when I come out of there with old Woe Daddy with the pink gloves on. Won't be nothing but crying on this boat. And somebody's wife's gonna be mad because I know y'all got them from the kitchen. <laughs> Two guys we've got in the water, uh, Jeff Clark and Randy Mincy, they're actually checking the boxes. Uh, there's, a, there's, like I said earlier, a three-sided box, and they're, they're going in and sticking their foot in to check to see if the fish is there. If, if one's there, they'll block the hole, as to say, not let the fish out. And then we'll put someone in the water, whoever's first up to get the fish. But uh, basically right now, they're just going from box to box, checking them and uh, seeing if anything's there. Yeah, he got him. Good job for me. Got him. Bring him up. Y'all yeah. <laughs> 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 don't let him go. Show me him gloves, Red. Bigger than four or five pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when I stuck my hand in his mouth, I realized that. <laughs> oh Folks, we went hand grabbing this morning with Representative Bubba Carpenter up in Tishomingo County, and uh, came in, took a break from the heat, got a bite, to, got a bite of lunch, and. And I've got Representative Scott Bounds from Philadelphia, Mississippi. And we're at Pickwick Lake in June, catching largemouth on river ledges. 
we're throwing Carolina rig, baby brush hogs. Green pumpkins, always been a good color up here. Uh, 15 pound mainline, 10 to 12 pound on your leader. Three quarter ounce egg sinkers. Uh, these fish will hit several different baits, but I like to use a Carolina rig as a uh, to search bait and uh, let me know if there's anything here willing to bite. Be a small mile. Be a big small mile. Good fight. Oh, good. Uh oh. Is it? Oh. No, it's a large mile, isn't it? You got to be kidding me. Your first fish at Pickwick's a small mile. Is that a small that mile? That is a small mile. What are the odds? That's a good one. So there's not a lot of difference between them and a large no, mile. No. I've always so, envisioned so if You can see the small mile. Yeah. And, um, you know, they've got that golden bronze color. And in the, in the spring, when they start trying to spawn, they'll get really colorful. That was fun. I know people that have been up here for 10 years that hadn't caught a small mile. Are you serious? I'm serious. I hadn't seen it. This I'm, I'm gonna predict this is gonna be a large mile. Yeah, I, it's gotta be. I mean, nobody catches two small miles their first trip. You're fighting good. Large mile. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Quick release. Quick release. We're in them now. Fish is a fish, isn't it? Look, coming up, coming up. Oh, good fish. That's a good, good fish, fish right there. Two at a time, two at a time. Two at a time, we like double. <laughs> they're here. They're not giants, but there is a good school of fish here. This would be the fifth bass on seven cast, I think. Oh, nice fish. That's a good fish. A little fish. bit better fish there. I done changed baits again. He's going to put it on me. I'm just tickled that middle of the afternoon the fish are cooperating now you know i wish they was five pounders but it is what it is oh hey now what's up with that a little better fish fish on catch it catch it please oh i heard the drag strip i heard the drag strip yeah we need to run right around up in india and see if we can't catch a little better fish That's a better fish. What is up with that? Not sure it's the same fish. <laughs> He's a fatty though. I got a fish on too. <laughs> Let's just call this the Pickwick Double. Folks, if you don't ever get a chance to go anywhere in the state, you need to come to Tishomingo County and visit J.P. Coleman State Park. Representative Scott Bounds and myself have had a wonderful afternoon. We did some hand grabbing this morning and was able to do some bass fishing this afternoon. Scott, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. First yes, time up here and I'll be back. Thank you. For over 70 years, Mississippi Outdoors Magazine has served the readers of the Magnolia State. In it contains several interesting features such as wildlife photography, some lunar tables, and even a kid's page. Subscriptions to the magazine are very inexpensive, and when you subscribe, you will receive six bi-monthly issues containing articles on hunting and fishing in the state, public lakes, state parks, and even our wildlife management areas. For more information, call our toll-free number at 1-888-874-5785. Me a mill brook. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on y'all. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to let Tyrone have some rabbit action. <laughs> We're here in Octibaha County at uh, Trim Cane WMA. We're on a draw hunt with some lucky rabbit hunters this morning. It's nice and chilly. I think we're going to do good today. Let's <laughs> first. Let's do it. Hey, you didn't pray for the rabbit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Tyrone, we, we, we're just getting this thicket. Now tell us what we're doing. You, 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 you own the dogs. Yes, sir. Two to the track, South Old's pack. And what we're doing right now, they're doing a little bit of cold nosing, uh, trying to get one up and going. In a minute, they're going to strike. Matter of fact, you hear that? We got him going. They got him going. That's music right there. How many dogs we got hunting today? We got 10 that we're running today. 10 dogs. Yes, sir. Golly. And you know by the tone of their voice, when they, when they hit that rabbit, you know it. I know who is who's starting it, and I know <clears throat> the certain dogs I listen for, and I know when they got him up and running. We got the dog. We just need some shooters. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Where's everybody at? He came right through that gap where I just said. He just came. There he is. <laughs> we got him. Todd, y'all going to the truck. We got this. Look for him. Get him up, Jack. Now you run into the same problem like during deer season, it's hard to find a place to hunt? Yes, yes, that's why I generally hunt uh, mostly uh, wildlife management areas. And you hunt them anytime you, you want? You can hunt them anytime you want to. I hit him, I thought. Got behind him in a second shot. He was behind him, bro. I hit that rabbit. I saw that rabbit buckle. He did get him. Yeah, he's dead. I'm I thought I, I knew I hit that rabbit. Now they said I missed that rabbit. I said I hit that rabbit both times. But I didn't want to just roll him. That's the one I hit him with. Yes, indeed. I knew they were going to bring him back. Good job, good job, dude. That's a big old carabin, huh? That's a heavy rabbit. I mean, he didn't hit that rabbit. Todd, they said the rabbit had a heart attack. I don't, I don't. <laughs> he didn't hit that rabbit. Any, them dogs ran that rabbit 18 miles. <laughs> Trim cane, we got about 980 acres here. Uh, trim cane, we rabbit hunt, we handicap deer hunt, and you hunt. We started doing youth hunts this year on deer. And everything we do out here is a draw hunt. Uh, on the rabbit hunts, uh, we manage for the rabbits out here at Trim Cane. We uh, plant these food plots for the deer, and the rabbits also use the food plots. And we have uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 60 to 70 people put in for the draw hunts. And the success rate up here has been pretty good. It's eight rabbits per party of what we got, and usually they, they limit it out. He must have turned right there. Rev it down. <laughs> two for two. Mississippi rabbit hunting at its finest. Dogs, we run three rabbits. Three rabbits. We got three in the bag. Three kills. <laughs> hey, my man down here got a fractured shoulder. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to help us out a little bit now. Seriously. <laughs> well, I'm trying to I'm trying to let Tyrone have some rabbit action. <laughs> <laughs> We got Biscuit leading the pack, followed by Sam, Jack, dead, Biscuit dead, Sam. We got Jack, we got Fat, we got Wild Gal, Jay bringing up the rear. Come on, old man, old trusty here. Good boy, dead, 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 dead. Good run, good run, good run. Good job, good run. guy. Good run. Come on, Helen. Helen's in training here. Good girl, Helen. What you think's the leader of the pack? Or are they kind of fighting for Alpha? They fighting for Alpha, but the leader, he's my old male here, Jay, the one that's you here with the D bass. Woo! Jack wants to lead every now and then. You'll see him. He does a great job. Oh, I ain't promised some rabbits in here. Oh, yeah. All right, we're fixing to uh, leave this spot. We're going to go to another spot around the curve there. We're going to 
put the hounds back in and uh, see if we can get some more running going on. We've had a pretty good hunt so far this morning. The first block we ran, we got three rabbits out of there. But now we've moved over here to this block. It's gonna be a lot thicker, it's gonna be a little harder hunting. But our manager said that they got rabbits in this block. So he like I said, you know, everybody had to get in there and hunt them. He said it ain't gonna be as easy as that first hunt. But dogs just jumped. Listen. But I have confidence we're gonna get him out of here. Being out here in an environment, this is good therapy. Uh, you don't get no better than this. Uh, that's why I did 32 years in armor protecting this country, so we can do, do this freely. Without the military, we wouldn't be standing here right now. That's right. God bless the military. Yes, I'm 101st Airborne Division. Air oh, assault. you're a jumper. Yeah, air assault. What happened? He tried to take it from me. <laughs> I broke him down, but I didn't get him good. He tried to take it. But well, we got it. We've had a great time today at Trim Cane Rabbit Hunting. Um, it's getting late, the weather's coming in, we're tired, hungry, the dogs are tired. If you get a chance, put in for a draw at Trim Cane. It's well worth it. I hit him, I thought. Did you know that money spent on a Mississippi hunting and fishing license is just like an investment? The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks uses money from license sales to enhance hunting and fishing, like providing public hunting opportunities on wildlife management areas, advising private landowners on deer and habitat management, providing public fishing opportunities on state lakes, and operating fish hatcheries for stocking public lakes and streams. So make an investment in the great outdoors. Buy your Mississippi hunting and fishing license today. That's a decent trout. Oh, oh he man. might make it. This is the one that's going to take over the lead right here. Flip it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I like a little stink in there now. Uh huh. <laughs> it's summertime here on the Gulf Coast with a speckled trout and biting. I got my good buddy here, Stanley Big Country Hoda, is going to be my wingman with some hot action. Let's head south and Catch and fish. What do you think, Stanley? I love it. I'm ready. I'm ready too. It. That's right. Guys, it's nice we go going south, son. Oh, it's nice like this. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. We're gonna do a normal summertime run. We're gonna run out here, we're gonna fish in deep water, fish in these gas, uh, natural gas platforms. Um, we're just gonna be bopping around, hitting them. Um, it's getting hot, the fish are staying down in that cool water. What you got, Stanley? I don't know. You got you one of them big south trout. I can tell you what it is. I see gray down there. I can tell you what it is. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Oh, yeah. It ain't that big. Near lure, huh, son? Near lure. You're never gonna get out of that net. It ain't bad. <laughs> easy, boy, easy. All right, all right. About time. <laughs> nice trout. I got some more mirror lures in there, Tyler. I don't know if I got one in that cover right there. It's down to be in that plastic, too, though. What you got there, Stanley? Nice pick. I got the nice net. Pick. I got the net. That's right. 
so we come after right there. It's starting to get some in the boat. <laughs> starting to do a little bit. Boy, it's a fine trout, son. Fine trout. Big school of birds right over there, Phil. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh. Hey, box fish. Little box fish. Oh, missed it. We had to switch gears. We went out, we did some deep drops. There ain't nothing out here today. We had to come back in and we're gonna see if we can get a little mess of schoolies to take for the for the pan. Yo, uh -huh. there's one for the box. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's one for the pot right there. Oh, that's a good one there, buddy. Love him in the boat. Don't play with him. <laughs> Got a good fish. This might be a keeper. That's what I'm talking about. Guess this is a good mess to get. He's gonna be close. Box this, baby. We think he's making him a show right here. Uh-oh, Stanley. This is the one that's gonna take over the lead right here. <laughs> this is the one that's You're gonna make me put lead. that other jig on, ain't you? Oh, he's fixing oh, to take the lead with oh, this one, boys. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Let me get a little something in the ice. I don't know if it's a trout or a cat. Feels like a trout. Trout. A trout. Box fish. White trout. Is it a white? White trout, dude. White trout. No spots. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> where you pull that out at? Oh, pull it out of that water right there. <laughs> we got these little group of birds right down here that came in behind us. We were sitting here on anchor, catching these cool trout coming through this pass here. And these birds just jumped in right here behind us on the school. So, that's a good slick right there underneath them, too. Here, just a second, I want you to drop that anchor out we're going sit right in front of them. Yeah, that's a good slick. Yeah, that's a good slick. Nope. Short stack. That's a box. Close. Close, 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 close. 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 That's a good one yeah. right there. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Can you come and tell you, flip it, flip it. <laughs> oh, yeah. What I'm talking about. Oh, there he is. Decent one. Catfish feels like. Well, that's a trout. That's a trout. Good trout. Another good trout. Oh, that's box fish there, Another buddy. box fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! Looks like a good one, too. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's probably going to keep. Oh, yeah. That's a box there, brother. Get around there and flung him up in there. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about, yeah, man. Flip him up like butt jacks in the box, right. That's right. All right, let's see. Look, it's starting to get a little stink in there now. Uh huh. Put the little stink in there. That's what I'm talking about. Never give up, huh, Stanley? That's right. Never give this up. Just when you think you, the fishes ain't biting you, that's when you start catching. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The kid's on the comeback. What uh oh. What uh oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. What, whoa? Believe it or not, this is your best eating trout you could possibly ever put oh, in, in, your, in your box. Possibly ever put in your box. 13 on the money. Little bit. Oh, yeah. Big cat. Another world-class gaff top. Probably. Ain't that pretty? Foot tail shrimp. All right, Stanley, this is this is, this is gonna be our last tango of the day. Come on, that big country. We need one more, babe. One more for the box. One more, one more. Can you handle it? Working on it. What you got, Stanley? Just like a decent trap. Decent trap? Oh. oh, he might make it. Nah. Nah. But tell you what, we've had a great day out on the water. Remember, the worst day on the water beats a good day at work. <laughs> Am I right? 
<laughs> Definitely. Uh, hey, it's all about having fun. We had fun today. We, we got enough fun. fish to make a meal. We That's ain't fun. trying to set no records today. But tell you what, see you outdoors. Thanks, Stanley. Let's go to the house. Love this city. Bye.